students whatever homework is given to you you have to submit it on the very next day between 8 am to 1 pm to the given whatsapp number and it is compulsory to submit your homework as your attendance will be marked on the basis of your submission lesson number 11 transitive and intransitive verbs pay attention to these sentences can you spot the difference between the two first jayant gave second rehman sleeps soundly both these sentences have a verb and a subject but the first sentence does not make complete sense while the second sentence does object of the verb look at the sentences in the table samantha threw the ball second my mother hugged my brother in the first sentence samantha is the subject threw is the verb and the ball is object in the second sentence my mother is the subject hugged is the verb my brother is the object so what did samantha throw the answer is the ball who did my mother hug my brother so objects can be identified by answering the question who or what to the verbs now we have direct and indirect objects in some sentences a verb can have two objects look at this sentence samantha threw hima the ball here the direct object answers the question what what did samantha throw the ball the direct object receives the action of the verb and is directly affected by it the indirect object answers the question to whom samantha threw the ball to whom hima it also answers the question for whom the indirect object receives the direct object example nitin told manu a joke so direct object is a joke indirect object is manu the indirect object comes before the direct direct and indirect objects are normally placed in this manner we have for subject verb indirect object direct object example i bought my brother a basket ball direct object is basket ball indirect object is my brother however the direct object can be placed before the indirect object if a preposition is used with the indirect object in such cases they take the structure subject verb direct object preposition plus indirect object example samantha threw the ball to hima my grandfather narrated the story to me some verbs need objects to complete their meaning while others do not what are transitive verbs transitive verbs are those verbs which need an object to complete their action example sindhu won a silver medal won what a silver medal second the police caught the thief caught whom the thief what are intransitive verbs intransitive verbs are those verbs which do not need any object to complete their action examples the child sleeps all day the birds are chirping so the verb is sleeps and second sentence the verb is are chirping but they do not need any object okay points to remember first verbs can be transitive or intransitive 
ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स नीड एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू कंप्लीट द मीनिंग ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स कैन हैव टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स डू नॉट नीड एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू कंप्लीट देयर मीनिंग